You know, this is the worst drug epidemic in my lifetime. Uh, it continues to get worse. Battling Ohio's drug epidemic, the state's top cop says more needs to be done to educate young people from a very early age about the dangers of drugs. 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti today talked with Mike DeWine about the problem and learned about what must be done. Appearing at today's Fallen Officer program in Columbiana, Ohio's Attorney General says even though so many are working to reverse the state's opioid epidemic, something is missing. We still don't quite have the sense of urgency uh, that I would like to see. And I think that these deaths uh, merit that kind of urgency. More than 3,000 fatal overdoses were recorded in Ohio in 2015, and there were nearly 200 just last month in Trumbull County. DeWine tells me the only way to get ahead of this problem, as he puts it, is to educate young people. Everybody says what you have to do is start in kindergarten. You have to do something every single year that's age appropriate. And you have to do something every single year that has a scientific basis behind it. In other words, where it's been proven that this does in fact work. DeWine is applauding the efforts of local authorities, prosecuting those who supply fatal overdoses to their friends, as in the case of Katrina Young Walsh of New Springfield, who was indicted just last week on manslaughter charges, saying the tactic makes sense. I like it that prosecuting attorneys across the state are now, when they have the evidence, are going after uh, the person who supplied the drugs and charging them with a homicide. In the meantime, DeWine continues to sidestep speculation. He is officially a candidate for governor, even though he's been widely touted as the front runner ahead of others who have already thrown their hats into the ring. But he apparently is paying attention. According to polls that have been done, public polls, if the election were held today, I win by about three to one in a Republican primary. I'm not going to take anything for granted, but that's where the race starts. At this point, DeWine won't say when he'll make his decision. In Columbiana, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.